It's time to build a new lantern, our PVC pipe kayak. Probably the coolest kayak you can make yourself. I'll show you how to make one step by step through this video. For cutting the PVC pipes, we need a simple hacksaw, a jigsaw and a piece of sandpaper. Here are the materials we need for the pontoon build, two 8 inch dia, 4 kg PVC pipes, 5 meters long. We will start with building the first pontoon, for which we need two 45 degree couplings, two end caps, some recycled styrofoam boards one and a half to two inch thick from which we should be able to cut eight inch circles and a good PVC glue or salt. First length will be four meters. Do the same marking at four 0.5 meters, 450 centimeter, and the last one at 5 meters. You turn the pipes around a few times so that we can get these markings three or four times around the pipe. What we need next is a straight edge piece of cardboard that we will we can easily put around the pipe and draw the line so let's start with the first cut use the hacksaw to make a slot for the jigsaw like that put a jigsaw slot with the hacksaw and all marks the slot is ready for the jigsaw just put the blade like that and then we can cut it let's start with the cutting Keep this thing on a flat surface and then, uh, you know, to the slot, put the jigsaw, cut. can see you know the when you cut it with hacksaw a lot of rough edge which we can you know smooth now with the sandpaper but it will be nice to give a sanding all around to make the edges smooth both inside and outside Now it's neat. So here they are all the three pieces. Next will be the process of making this four meter pipe more stronger and rigid. So as you can see one will be three to four inch thick styrofoam discs inserted into the pipe one at the center one 40 centimeters away from the edge so at these points will be the stainless steel connecting rings which connects this pipe to the deck
option B could be fill the entire pipe with expandable styrofoam. That way you are making an unsinkable, very safe pontoon. I will be going with option A, inserting the styrofoam disc. These are the materials we need to do the disc work. We have some recycled thermocol sheets. Then I think, you know, I find it easier to use a long sharp kitchen knife to cut the thermocol then we need a marker a masking tape measuring tape then a piece of eight inch pipe to draw the circles and a good water resistant white glue like that two notches on opposite side this will help us later in case any water goes into the pipe you can easily drain it off so these two goes at the top and bottom when you insert put it for all the dishes The next step will be to insert these thermocol discs into the pipe. So our discs are ready, the glue dry, then uh, we have three of them. Then we have a hole with a circle at its end to push these discs into the pipe push that thing until this mark then that goes at the center of the disc then the next one if you push it up to this mark be at one end do the same thing at the other end to glue these 45 degree coupling with the small one of the smaller pipes this is a bit tricky you have to put the solvent fast and glue them together
now i use custom made you know dropper like bottle cap thin bottle cap tied with a iron wire as a handle so that one i can pour some solvent into here and then pour it you know it over the joint to make sure it's tightly sealed it aligns with you know our water draining slots on the styrofoam disc same things at the joints to glue the other end you know keep it flat on a level surface Our pontoons are almost ready. Now the end caps. We don't glue the end caps. So that you know in case of any water seepage we can drain it off. So one pontoon is ready. Like that. We have to make one more. 